before I start to discuss about gender inequality and that it is, it is a fundamental impediment of, uh, to um, uh, democracy progress, let me ask you, raise your hands whom, whose countries has less 30% uh, women in your legislative body. You see, the picture is the same in a different developing countries. And even if our governments and your governments uh, make so many measures as gender quota, as um, reservation for women, uh, some uh, mandates, we can imagine that one day we can receive parliament without any female person, as we had in 2005 in Kyrgyzstan. Can you imagine 100% of uh, men were the deputies? And so many questions um, is on my mind. Why we are still fighting about gender equality. The reason of this, why I am, became a women defender, is the case which had happened 2021 in our country. Two, two type of election, um, national and local, had been organized in our country. And I want to tell about two cases. Um, the, how to say? Uh, mm, distributing mandates for women. It was really awful to see how, um, how was the difficult among one um, members, of, uh, members uh, of one political parties, men and women, was so uh, difficult um, occasion which divided onto, uh, our country into two parts. One of them wanted to give mandate for person, known person, famous person, young man, and another for women, who, uh, for women, uh, unknown woman. But according to the rule of election code, she should take in this mandate. But unfortunately, what I think, the mandate have, has been given whom? Men. And another, uh, case was in a local level. Approximately 20 women have applied their application, applications by their willingness to refuse from mandates. Can you imagine from one political party? It was so um, shocked me because for a long time, uh, approximately 15 years, during these 15 years, I try to improve election legislation, ele uh, of process, voting, counting, but I've never think about inclusivity. I've never thought that we have to fight about to be represented in political air, especially legislative body. And that is why I decided to do my best to enlarge leadership in our countries. Because after finishing all these um, dispute resolution, um, dispute, um, uh, how to say, um, difficulties in our country, I asked many of these women, why are you refused from so difficult um, present for you, for your fighting? for your election process. And they said, we were uncertainty because we are not educated. We, we have no our rights. This was the reason why we are still fighting for gender equality. Many of women has, has no any opportunity in our country to enlarge their education, to enlarge their leadership. And that is why, as you remember, uh, I, I dream to be a vice speaker in our country, and I will 
show by my own example um, how to be a leader in your region, how to be gender defined their people. And, um, and that is why I am so appreciated to be part of this Draper Health Fellowship in Stanford to show that the leadership is the main base of gender equality. Thank you so much.